Welcome back. Tom Harmon here with you. And uh, Drew in Kansas. I've given up trying to pronounce the name of your city, Drew. I can never remember it. I always Olathe. Skirt. Olathe. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, you want to um, talk about messy versus clean? Yeah, I'll be honest. I'm I'm extremely messy. I'm trying to get myself. Hey, welcome to the club. Do you feel embarrassed when you invite people over, or do you not invite people over? I usually don't invite people over. I'll put it that way. I mean, I, I could totally see the crea creativity aspect as I've got a bunch of ideas ro rolling around in my head. My problem is the fact that I feel like I need a balance. The problem that I see with people who are OCD is they don't recognize the chaos and therefore disorganization is an intrinsic part of human nature to cope with society and they're trying to fight that and it stresses them out. But like people like me, I feel like I need to to be a little bit messy, you know, to see some objects off off kilter on the desk, you know, mm -hmm. to kind of relax me. But I don't need to see too many because then that's going to be a complete distraction of me trying to get something done. Yeah. No, I, I do uh, have to organize space. I mean, if it, well, you, I, if you're you're uh, you're watching it on TV, you can see the mess on my yeah. desk right now, right in front of me. Um, but yeah. I do know where everything is. And so, you yeah. know, that that's my pile for for our little YouTube thing when we get off the air. And that's for the for, uh, you know, uh, there, there's my article about MSNBC that I'm going to get into in two hours. And and there uh, there's my stuff for Alex. And, you know, go ahead, back back to you, Drew. I'm sorry. Well, I was going to ask, well, to, to, well, make a comment and then a quick question. Uh, well, for, the question is, do you have any suggestions in your book for, for, for finding, helping me find any sort of balance? Yeah, I, I wrote a book called ADD Success Stories that is uh, nothing but little anecdotes, every single one told by a different person that I interviewed. This was 20 years ago, but they're all still solid. And uh, there's also stuff in, in the new book that I've got for adults called uh, Adult ADD HD, uh, Honey, How to Be Successful as a Hunter in a Farmer's World, that talks about that. And for example, having piling systems instead of filing systems, your piling system doesn't need to be all over the floor. I remember in, yeah. um, in uh, 1978 when I met this guy in Germany, Gottfried Mueller, who became my, my uh, uh, spiritual and, and career mentor, as it were. Uh, he started the International Salem Organizations, which we based the Community for Abused Kids in New Hampshire on. And, and he had, and this is apparently not uncommon in Germany, um, instead of having a filing cabinet, he had a wall with a uh, set of racks, little wire baskets in them, that, like the kinds that some people use to like sort their clothing or something. Yeah. And, but you can see what's in them, right? And in front of every wire basket, there was a little tag with a with the words on it, you know, so you could say, okay, you know, to do or whatever. But you could instantly look and see where all your stuff was and see what it was. Because my problem is, if I put something in a file folder and I put it in a drawer and I close the drawer, it ceases to exist. And weeks, yeah, I understand. weeks yeah, I later, I'm looking for it and it's like, where the hell did that go? I have no idea. So, yeah. yeah. So To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.